Welcome to Kentucky State University's third Thursday program in March. My name is Dr. Ken Andres. I am the animal science specialist and researcher here, and I work predominantly with the meat goat industry in the state of Kentucky. This is one of two third Thursday programs that we focus on small ruminant production at. And this year at the March program, we're gonna be focusing on business and grants available to producers in the morning. In the afternoon, we're gonna be going over different strategies for grazing, as well as having an alpaca shearing and marketing demonstration. Over the years, we've done a lot of work with our producers to improve their forage utilization and grazing practices, as well as different management strategies and health strategies with small ruminants. And producers have seen a lot of benefit. As always, we tend to try to focus with small, limited resource and minority producers at these programs. I'm Dr. Beth Johnson. I'm with the Kentucky Goat Producers on the Board of Directors, but also a veterinarian with the State Veterinarian's Office with the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. We are an association that serves the small ruminant producers that are interested in goat production, and that can be with fiber, that can be with meat, milk. That's primarily you know, what we help with you know, producers, either commercial, purebred, dairy goat people you know we, we we help all you know all producers that are interested in goat production in, in Kentucky with the the third Thursday is you know they do the education we let people know that there is a goat association there in Kentucky that they can be part of and hopefully you know get some resources from us and also third Thursday they can you know they, they know that they can come here and get more education. My name is Linda Bopris. I'm with Kentucky Agribility, which is part of the USDA Farm Bill. We help disabled farmers, their families, and the local community for as long as they can. Even after an illness, a disability, or some type of trauma that has happened, that keeps them off of the equipment. So we do things like go and assess the farm, and make sure that the equipment they have will work with whatever disability they have. And if not, we make modifications by going through different organizations. Third Thursday has a different uh, focus each month, so we need a different type of farmer each month. We do house some of our adapted and modified equipment here. So if they want to try out a tractor lift or to see another piece of equipment, we can take them out on the farm here and let them try it out, see if this is something that will work for them. 